got the little Black Star Mini Fly sitting behind the phone, so you might hear a little like interference. I think. Uh, let's go on the. Uh, it works really good here. Let's go on the the G string on the seventh, on the seventh, and then on the uh, eighth on the B. All right, but you know how you do. I call it like a country bend. You just do both. No, you know you bend on the G, but you know. You know what I'm saying? So that's the method you're going to use as the first process of this. So I have to use a lot of gain. I have a pedal hooked up to this amp. I have to have a lot of gain to pull this off, especially with this guitar. It's a great guitar, but this pickup is not quite as hot as the uh, Wolfgang Special, believe it or not. I mean, it's hot, but not quite. It's not quite there. It's like Wolfgang Special's here, and this pickup's down here. So, But it still works, but it's not a... You know, it's not a hot pickup like I was hoping. But anyway. All right, so that's what we're going to do. You want to... Like that, pretty much. So now the, the reason you want to strike both of them uh, when you're doing the, the horse whinnies or the whatever you want to people call it is because if you miss one you're more likely to hit the other so it's always good to go for two notes all right so See? i got both of them on that one but the first one i don't really think i got any at all and the second one i got one what you do you kind of rake and you uh you can see i kind of mute with my my first finger you know but then you're going to hit the and you have to pick at the right spot too that has a lot to do with it Just, uh, that's pretty much how what I'm doing <clears throat> so you can kind of do that uh, I find it really good like I said right here at the seventh and the eighth it works really good there it works okay on the on the fifth it does really good there um and sometimes I'll go down to the third and fourth which is you know right there that does pretty good uh, so if you do a single note that it, you can do it, but man, you got to have really good accuracy, right? So, and Eddie does that a lot, right? So, tapped harmonics are a big thing. I love that too. Uh, on the seventh, I love that a lot. Um, you can do that uh, on any string right here on the on the seventh fret, right? So you go. That's a nice way to end a song, I think. So that's uh, seventh, and you tap on the twelve, fourteen, and that's what? What is that? Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. On the nineteen, so twelve, fourteen, and nineteen. Yeah. I think that's a great way to in that so you can just find different spots I've just done it so much I kind of know where to go it's just like anything else That's uh, always a good thing. I love doing open harmonics in that chord. That's on the fifth on the G string, then the seventh on the B, and then seventh on the on the G again. That's a that's a D pattern for harmonics. My son showed me that. So you 
you kind of put all that together and kind of get your own little thing going there, right? And of course the tapping, you know, I love, I love that shot. <laughs> Like I said, this guitar makes you work a little bit harder because the pickup's not quite as hot, but that's okay. That was sloppy. That was sloppy. But anyway, so now you kind of got more of an idea of the of the uh, horse whinny screams or whatever, you know. So I think it works really cool, man. It's a cool trick. It's a, a great way to add into your playing, you know. Um, but that's it, man. Hope you enjoyed it, man. I hope it helped. I hope it uh, helped you understand what I was talking about.